Oh. 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 Yes! We're playing Punch Out! Okay, I'm excited for this one because. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm dying, by the way. Okay, listen. So, the thing with Punch Out is, they are. God, they're fucking loud. Alright. The thing about Punch Out is, there are fighters that speak their foreign languages, but you can't understand them because they're no subtitles. That's where I come in. Look, you, fu you thought you were going to find, like, a regular-ass YouTube video? No! I'm going to teach you some shit, alright? I'm going to teach you guys something. Today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm a fucking teacher, alright? I'm like one of those cool teachers that let you cheat on the phone like them. I don't give a fuck. But, first off, we got Glass Joe. Everyone knows Glass Joe is a pussy. It's sad, but it's true. He's, he's got one win under his belt and 99 losses. This guy is like... He's like... He's just practice, really. Glass Joe. And he's French. Which I hope that... This game gets a little slack for being a little racist, but... I don't know. I feel like when all the races get a little bit of the, you know... Racism. Kind of takes away from it. Yes. Yes. God, what a fucking badass. Alright. Round one. Bonjour! Bonjour! Fucking idiot. Alright. Well, that fucked it up already for me, but boom, boom. Alright. So, right there he said hello, hello, but he was supposed to say, I am Glass Joe. It was like, Joe Sweet Glass Joe. Which I don't know why he doesn't say glass in French. Or the, uh, the Joe part. But, oh, wait, that's. Dear yeah, fuck you. Yeah, he's supposed to say Joe Sweet Glass Joe. Or some people like to say J. Mabel Glass Joe, but. That Three, means more four, like my name is, whereas he's saying I am. Also, when he jumped back like that, he said, uh, long live France, and then he got his ass handed to him. See, I'm teaching you guys some shit. Sorry if it's a little sporadic, but I'm trying to keep up with this shit. Also, Glass Joe is a pussy. He's average. He's just not that good. Really. But, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna show the intermissions. So you can, you know, get the, because these guys have kind of a lot of personality. Some people don't know that. Because they don't know what the fuck they're saying. But there's a personality behind these characters. So, I'm gonna, sadly, wait and let Glass Joe, you know, have his fun. So I can hear his intermissions. So you're welcome for that. Um, fuck him up. Anyway, how are you guys doing? How's that thing that you're on? You still doing good? Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It's so easy to get star punch. I could kill him right now. I could literally punch his head off into the crowd. Like, just lob it off, but I won't. Alright. Les mêmes font mal. Alright, so right there, he said, my hands hurt, these boxing gloves are on too tight. A fucking bitch, man. I wonder, is that actually a thing? Can you... I boxed for like a minute, but I only trained. I never really, like, fought anybody. Does the... Does they ever, like, in the standard professional boxing gloves, do they actually, like, tie him tight, or is he just being a pussy? Alright, right there he said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, KO. I'm fucking teaching you guys some shit, man. Like, this isn't, like, just a playthrough, alright? This is something special. This is me actually teaching you guys something. Cause I know damn well you're on the internet all day looking at dirty videos and stupid memes. But listen, this is actual teaching. You don't get this very often on the internet nowadays unless you look for it. Alright, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna fast forward this so you can see a second in the way. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. He's saying long live France. Attention à mon he said, "Watch out for my sh watch out for my chin. Don't hit my chin." If you're wondering, how the fuck? If you see my other videos, how the fuck does 
Zion know about all this shit. Listen, I know my shit, all right? I did my fucking research. I'm gonna give you some, like, I'm gonna give you some, what is it called? I'm gonna give you some little facts that some people wouldn't even know, all right? Just, just watch. Alright, let's finish this. Hey! I love the fucking French bread. <sighs> That's the first victory. I mean, you really shouldn't lose the Glass Joe, even if you're like 10 years old and you've never played a video game in your life. It's not that hard. the real deal. Now you ready for the next challenge? All right, but that was the first fight with Glass Joe. Now we got another foreign speaker, and he is German. But the, these voice actors are really good, by the way. They're not bad, honestly. They like, I think they got like actual people who speak the language, not just some some guy who just you know learned it on the Zetterstone or something. Von Kaiser. All right, from German. Um, uh, I think Vaughn means from the Emperor or something like that, but in this case it's just using a, you know, title or just a name, Vaughn Kaiser. Vaughn Kaiser is also a badass because he has probably one of the best stashes in all of Nintendo history. Also, kind of like scary cat or something like that. I think that was like a dream sequence or some shit. And he was like, woke up from a nightmare. Oh, there he said, attention. Alright. Alright, right there he said, where are you? And then he said, mommy. So, yeah. Uh, if you ever saw a boxer hide behind his gloves and scream and say mommy, you probably know that you're fucking with like not a not a good one. Alright, let's get out of here. Damn! Look how much facial damage that was in that one punch. You can also tap the one and two button while he's counting down and gain health you know. Also, I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to do as much as I can with these fucking like translations, but there are fighters later on that even I can't really like, you know, fuck up or like play around with. Like Glass Joe and Von Kaiser, I can like, you know, play around with them. I don't really worry about them. But there are fighters that'll come up that'll be like, you know, I may not be able to get the two intermissions, at least not even without getting my ass whipped. I'm making this game look fucking easy, but these are the first. The first, you know, circuit, the minor circuit, is always like, you know, the pussy Three, round. It's nothing. Four, five, six, seven, All right. eight, Get nine, up. All right, I love to say. He said keep going there when he shakes his head. And when he says that, he's saying, let's go. I don't know how to exactly say that. I don't know, but I know what he's saying. He's saying, let's go. Alright, we're just gonna, just gonna play around with him now. Wait till second round. God, motherfucker. I hate when I forget to turn my damn phone ringtone off. There he said, I am a fighting machine. My name is Von Kaiser. Mine's chocolate. Also, Doc Lewis never helps that much if you're doing good. Like, if you're getting your ass up, he'll say something that's sort of relevant. But if you're not, he'll say stupid shit like, hey, what's your favorite kind of chocolate? What's your favorite flower? I don't even know what that means. But okay. Yes! Alright, well. Fuck you. Nine! Fuck! Alright, whoops, I accidentally killed Von Kaiser. Alright, well, that was unexpected. Okay, so what happened was, he fucking punched me in the face, so I I had to hit him in the stomach, but I didn't think that would fucking kill his ass. Damn it, alright. 
Don't worry, I'm gonna go back for the intermission. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna go back to the intermission. Don't worry. Okay, right there he said. Hey, Mac, baby. Wait here. Obviously, cuckoo, cuckoo. Your hour has been struck. That's a literal translation, or I guess you can say your time has come. Sometimes, you know, the literal translations are kind of not. They're kind of weird sounding when you put them in English. So I'll try to mix them around so it'll sound better. Alright, that's enough of this later. I like how he <laughs> I like how he stands himself up straight before he falls. Gotta love that. Gotta love that fucking poignancy. I don't even know if that's a word. Next up. Got Disco Kid, baby! I don't fucking, uh... He speaks English, so I mean, I don't really need to translate this. This one's just gonna be like a, a fucking asshole thing. This video's kinda long as shit. I didn't expect the minor circuit to take this long. I guess I'll have to go circuit by circuit with these videos. But hey, you get in the translations. I mean, not for this guy. You kinda can... yeah. He likes to dance. That's an interesting trait. Ready for this? Yeah, Disco Kid. All right. The thing about Disco Kid is you can get so many fucking stars from this guy. It's crazy. Like almost every move and taunt he does, you can get a star from it. Like that. Oh wait, also. I love that shit. Who stops and dances in the middle of a fight? Fucking, of course you're gonna get your ass in One, two, three. Oh, by the way, I'm using like the normal, like, just Wii remote by itself. I usually play this game with a nunchuck, but, you know, since we got fucking, uh, microphones and laptops and shit in the fray, not a really good idea. Look how easy it is to get fucking stars off of this guy. Here comes. Oh. He's just such a prick. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> I just love the thought of a boxer punching somebody and they block and, and they block the shot. Well, not the shot, the punch. And they say, "Ow!" He is fuck up. Look at his face. Here it comes. You gotta love a boxer that tells you before he hits, though. Here it comes! Are you fucking... Get your shit together, mate! Or I'm gonna skip to the intermissions, cause, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, yeah, let me skip to the intermissions. Here it comes. Step it up, Mac. Where's your hustle? Send a disco kid to the dentist. Bust his chops, Mac. Bust his chops. I mean, chops. I'm pretty sure I already, like, made him lose one tooth in his in the front there. He's already gonna need to go to the dentist after this fight. Uh-huh. Hey, good looking. Ugh. Get the fuck out of here. I've got the disco fever. Can you feel the rhythm? Dude, go check out that left eye of yours, man. Hey, man. Your retina may never be like too much groove and ain't got no soul. Let's knock his lights out, baby. Let's knock Let's him out. Let's knock him out. That's a good idea. All right. Let's finish this. Again, I'm making this look easy, but I mean, I know all their tricks and moves and how to get stars off of them. It's when you get to the later shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop looking so badass at this game and start raging, probably. Which I'm sure a lot of you love to see anyway. You're the real deal. Now you ready for the next All right, let's go the tall defense because this video is probably longer than I wanted it to be. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach you guys the translations. Also. Show you the intermissions, because, I mean, you didn't need to get the translation for Disco Kid, but whatever. Alright, we got King Heppo. Yes! Yes! Alright, listen. 
You know, I'm not gonna fucking puss out and be like, okay, you can't understand him because, you know, he's a fucking behemoth monster thing. But listen, he has a language too, alright? It's like animals. They don't speak, but they, they, they telegraph things through actions. Like when a dog wags its tail, you can tell what emotion it is. That's how King Hippo is. So I'm gonna, I'm still gonna translate him. <laughs> this is what a lot of people are probably gonna be like, all right, now he's fucking around. I'm not even sure if he was writing the other ones. Listen, you can check my shit, all right? I was right about Glass Joe and Von Kaiser. And I'm gonna fucking translate King Hippo too, so let's do this. 18 wins and nine losses, that's not bad. Especially when all of them are like 18 KOs. All right, let's do this. Nice. I like how he gets prepared for a fight. <laughs> like how you saw a little crack. Alright, so there he said, What? Because <laughs> he's laughing at us like we're little Mac. He, he's like, he looks at us and he's like, Alright, this guy's a chump. See, I told you he talks. <laughs> The thing with King Heppo is, he'll have little periods where he opens up his mouth. You gotta hit him in the jaw, and then start hitting him in the stomach. Like when his pants fall down. He's like the first fight where like it's specific stuff you gotta do to like hurt him, but we'll see more stuff like this later on. Yeah. And I'm waiting for one of his attacks to get a deal when he's like down to half health. You don't have to knock down King Hippo three times to win. You only have to There we go. Okay, well, I, that's, that move is kind of hard to time. You gotta, like, hit him right as he does it. And I could have, like, beat him right there, but I didn't, so I want to show you the intermission. But when he does a little giant-ass two-arm, uh, two-arm clothesline thing, you have to hit him right in the stomach and he'll fall back. All he does is really knock off his shield, but... Or you could duck it to knock it into Uh, anything else? Uh... Mm, just watch his moves and hit him in the mouth with the hand. And if you can, time that belly shot. Okay, so there, he said, I want to eat you. But there are too many people around, so that's why he looked around. He was like, but I can't. So he said, basically, he said, I want to eat you. He wants to eat Little Mac. And not in that way. I'm talking about, like, literally eat him. All the young people are probably, young kids are probably like, what, what other way can you eat somebody? Alright. There, he was just laughing there, so there's nothing to say. Alright. But you only have to knock King Hippo down once to win. Besides that, you know, crown knockoff shot. So, for the rest of the fight, I'm gonna just, you know, dodge his shit and I'll see you at the end of the mission. I understood that. All right, so Show there, sucker, his stomach was growling, so he's You'll like, "I'm hungry." Again. That's it. He's just, his stomach's growling, made him kind of sad. He's like, "He just, he's just hungry." That's it. There you go. You have the full translation of King Hippo, courtesy of me. You're welcome. Now you speak King Hippo again. So now we can just fucking beat him because his face is making me uncomfortable. Just how swollen and triangular it is now. Well, let's finish this. Oh! Oh, shit! Look at all that belly shot waves. Oh, shit! He just killed like probably eight people down there. But we got the belt, baby! We got the belt! Oh, we're a minor circuit champ! That was fucking pathetically easy. But it'll get harder, trust me. son. The belt's all yours. You're a minor circuit champion You sure are, Doc. We sure are. Well, that was the first video. Way longer than I wanted it to be. Hopefully, the more I cut out, the less time it'll be. Because right now, the time I'm looking at is fucking ridiculous. Time I'm but I hope I hope I taught you guys something honestly, because 
Joe Sweet Glass Joe, I am Glass Joe. He doesn't say glass in French, but for some, I guess it's like an American. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at him. I'm so sorry, Glass Joe. Von Kaiser, each banana cop machina. I don't think I said that right. I am a fighting machine. Also, if, if I may not get 100% right on these. This is just what I think. So, if I do fuck up something or anything else, just leave it in the comments, because I really do... I like learning about this type of shit, alright? Like, I like... Like, learning stuff about the world is like a, is like a low-key fetish of mine. I like learning shit about different languages and cultures. So, if you do... If you speak better King Hippo than me, let me know what exactly he says in the comments, because... I just think that's what he says. You may know exactly what he says. For all I know, he can be saying "fuck you." Hey, great work, Mac. Now let's take down the next. All right, circuit. it's time for a Rocky-style training montage. Quick feet, Mac. Quick feet. Work him, Mac. Work him. Left, right. Left, right. That's it, baby. Keep it up, Mac. Keep it up. That is iconic. Now we're in the major circuit. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. I hope you learn some things. And right off the back, we got Piston Hondo. It used to be Piston Honda, but they changed it because of the car company. And he's Japanese. And right off the bat, I'm gonna give you one last bonus thing before you even fight him. On his headband, it reads Ichiban, which means number one. So there you go, you learned something again! You just, uh, fuck, man, you're welcome. Today you can get off the internet and be like, you know what, I didn't just look at porn all day. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my Instagram for my arts and stuff like that. Subscribe and tell your friends if they want to learn about what these guys are saying and they never knew. And I'll see you in part two when we take on the major circuit. And, uh, fuck up some more stereotypes. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.